Circle to Search has also been improved on Google side for Samsung devices and now it will offer step-by-step -step direction on how to solve math problems. Photo Ambient Wallpaper has also seen an improvement with being able to rotate weather conditions out based on the locality of your weather widget. So however you have your location set up in weather is what will display on your wallpaper and how to access it is go to settings, come into wallpaper and styles, change wallpapers and you should see in here photo ambient right there. Photo ambient will now take a photo of yours and place weather effects on it. So if it's raining, you're going to see raining. If it's snowing, you're going to see snowing, right? So that's what you're going to be able to see. So whether or not you have weather like wallpapers that actually may work in tandem with the photo ambient AI features, that would be neat to look and see and look at. But this feature has been improved since being here with One UI 6 or One UI 6.1. So good to see that there. Samsung Health has also had an improvement. A lot of features in here that have been available with the Galaxy Watch Ultra is now within the Samsung Galaxy Health app or the Samsung Health app. So you're looking at consistent sleep, whether or not you want to make that useful, your energy score is available, meaning if you're wearing a Galaxy ring, you're wearing a Galaxy Watch, and you're wearing it consecutively, you will be shown an energy score. Now, I haven't been wearing my Galaxy Watch, but you see you will get a score, what it's based off, which is your sleep time, your sleep time consistency, your, your wake time, your timing of when you go to sleep, previous day activities, your sleeping heart rate, your sleeping heart rate variability, and it'll show you here how, for the most part, how it's been engaging with that, including your skin temperature if you have one of the more latest Samsung Galaxy wearables. And then along with that, you know, you can better improve your sleep by seeing your sleep stats, your workouts this week, recording your your meal your water your stress levels everything is in here in this health app but now you also have the ability to come in here go to more and you're actually able to set up your own exercises as you see i set up my 100 rep challenge if you come in here you can edit exercises of course right delete your custom ones or add more and you can select from an exercise list create a whole new exercise for yourself create a workout a routine and this is where you can come in here you can call it a specific routine add if you want a warm up you toggle that on and then you select the duration so you would click in here and then you can do a manual or set a five minute time for your warm up then you hit the plus icon to add your exercises you can add as many as you want in that exercise routine and then each in between each exercise you see that they automatically add breaks but it's up to you to change it from manual to a set break time for each one and then you can apply it to all breaks or individual breaks within your routine you can add a cool down at the end you can uh, add circuits which means you know how many times I guess you would do the routine within that exercise period and then you hit save and voila it's going to pop up right there my routine one for me I'm going to delete that one because ain't no one aware I'm about to do those exercises this is for illustrative purposes only <laughs> but that is Samsung Health a lot of these features have been added now and are very useful like your ages and your FTP score if you do a lot of bicycling I think that's like your 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 transfer of power or something like that when it comes to your bicycling efficiency that is in the health app as well and good to see the Samsung health continues to stay updated and improved time after time smart select has seen a lot of interesting developments with it over the course of time including them removing the ability to like freely smart select with this with the square uh, like semi auto framing well now smart select has improved again now mine is going to be within the quick uh, the quick panel here or edge panel and it's right here up at the top if I hit this button it will smart select everything on my screen or take a snapshot basically I guess if I hit this it's because it didn't see anything right so I can do sketch the image I can copy I can share I can download I can hit the plus icon add to note pin and edit what I see here now let's say maybe I wanted to go into a note let's say I come in here to Samsung notes here's all my notes for Samsung one UI 6.1.1 and if I hit smart select now it's gonna select oh allow me to select so let's say I needed to 
I need this. Well, here I can add to note. I can actually highlight all the text and then I can copy that instead and or share it. I can pin that selected area, right? I can add that to a different note if I needed to. It can select everything. And this even would allow me to hit the plus icon and pin it, meaning I can pin it to my home screen if I needed to, instead of always coming back into the Samsung Notes app to check out my notes. So it's good to see that at least they're still beefing it up despite kind of taking some of just a little bit of our creativity away from the feature. But this is something that can be used now with OneUI 6.1 with the improved Smart Select feature. Multi view window or has essentially been improved as well, specifically with picture in picture. Okay, so it's within the picture in picture. So as you guys can see right there, it said drag from side to side, but I, did they make a change? Because you see the split view action right there. So now it's going to split itself into multi view, giving you half and half. One app up at the top, one up at the bottom. And if you double tap, well, usually you're able to double tap, but you can actually hit that button and then reverse. So you put the, the video up at the top, put your other app at the bottom, and now you have a more functional multitasking situation for yourself in this way here. Now, maybe because it was YouTube, it didn't allow me to do the side to side thing. Maybe with the video player app, it might be a little different. So that's something we could actually attempt here. So I'm coming into a video in the video player app. If you see down here at the bottom, you have the picture in picture option. So if I press on it, it's going to drop it down into picture in picture. But upon clicking on it, you'll actually see the option to actually split it and then select an app of your choosing over here as well. So interesting to see how this, you know, kind of works out different from the notes that they gave us <laughs> in terms of how this is supposed to work. But it's actually good to see that this does work nonetheless. And they give you that option to hit the split screen button, which functions a lot better than trying to swipe it on either side of your display. Samsung's File Explorer at My Files has also got some updates. So upon swiping over, swiping over and selecting on that folder, which should be right here, I'm in Files. Well, now you're able to add any file to your home screen as an app. And so if I wanted to, let's say I just come into Downloads and I have this image here, I can press and hold and upon hitting this button here I can move the secure fo uh, folder I can add to home screen and so by adding the home screen it's going to add that file to my home screen just like so and it will add right there to your home screen it's very good to see very useful maybe there's specific or certain files that you want to have quick access to and being able to add it to your home screen is perfect now with the folders app They've also now added this pop-up feature when moving folders or moving files to different folders. So if we actually come back to downloads and I wanted to move this, if I hit move down here, now it pops up like this. And now I can select where I want to move it to. So let's say I want to move this to, you know, clipped images. And then I say move here. Now it moves there and now I'm still in the same place where I was, which is in the downloads folder. So you don't lose your spot where you were within the files app. That's perfect because a lot of times we just want to be able to stay where we're at. We just want to move in or copy stuff over. We want to be in the destination and have to work our way back. It's good to see that the pop-up folder destination works a whole lot more smoother so that way you don't lose your place when working within the files app. Shout out to OneUI 6.1.1 for this nifty feature. Samsung modes and routines has also seen some improvements with modes specifically to show you where that's at. If we back out of the wallpaper and we come into here, you're going to see modes and routines. Well, whenever you select a mode here, and let's just say sleeping, for example, typically modes will affect some of your usage when it comes to your wearables, specifically the Galaxy watches. Well, now what modes is able to do is control more of the watch settings, such as always on display your wrist uh, to wake or raise to wake I should say the tap screen to wake a lot of those features will now also be affected by the mode that you're in so that way it makes it that much easier to stay hands off with if not separate modes additional tweaking of settings when you need specific modes activated because now they will also affect the watch in a way that will make it a lot easier for you in those giving settings for your modes routines 
has more message filtering options. So if you come in here, switch on over to routines, this is where you can create routines based off of you know specific settings. It's basically kind of if this, then that. Well, now routines is going to allow you to do more filtering of messages. So if you have specific routines that kick in based off of messaging, based off of keywords, well, now you can add the ability to do all of the keywords or only specific keywords for filter messaging or message filtering to kick those routines on and off or different routines on, on and off. So Samsung has added more granularity to the routines features within the Samsung Galaxy devices with One UI 6.1.1. All right, so if we swipe over to the left or to the right, however you want to say it, and I show you the weather now. Well, if we jump into the weather, the weather now automatically updates every hour for you. So that's something you no longer have to necessarily tweak within the settings as you had before. And I wonder, do they still have the option in here to change that? No, nah, it just says auto refresh. And if you tap it on, it's automatically at an hour. You don't get to change the intervals anymore. And I don't know if they'll bring that back. But as we see, that is the case with weather. And that's probably more or less fine. You don't need a minute by minute, right? Now, again, granted, there are some people who like minute by minute, 10 minute, 15 minute, depending on your weather conditions. But one hour in general is usually a good sweet spot for most people. And the last feature that I want to highlight for you guys is the auto blocker improvements. And they've added a maximum restrictions ability, which can shut all kinds of stuff down from entering your phone if you want to maximize the security of your device. So we come into settings and we come in here to security and privacy. And if we scroll down here, you see I have my auto blocker on, but I don't have it maxed out. As you see here, it helps keep you safe from security threats, suspicious activity, and privacy risks. Block apps from authorized sources. Block commands by USB, uh, USB cable. Blocks malware images and messaging apps. Block software updates by USB cable. These are things that they already kind of do. Ask your permission if you want to access certain things or allow certain things within the messages app itself. But now there's a new option, maximum restrictions. <laughs> And this is going to shut everything down on your phone. Provides extra strong protection for people who need more security. Some of your phone's features will be restricted. I can definitely see businesses and companies using this feature if they, you know, use Samsung Galaxy devices for their employees. This feature is shutting everything down. All right. So blocks device admin apps, blocks auto downloading attachments, blocks hyperlinks and previews removes location data when sharing pictures, blocks shared albums within the gallery, removes location data when sharing pictures, all that gets shut down. And if you want to read those, of course, pause the video. If you want to read them on your own or visit it on your own phone. But you see, there's no games being played with maximum restrictions within auto blocker, which provides a, a very high level of security for your Samsung Galaxy device. That's what you want to see from Samsung giving you those kind of abilities as well. And this is all just within One UI 6.1.1.